Scranton Memorial Stadium has been home to West Scranton High School games since its creation in 1949. 1955 graduate Betty Griffiths recalls cheering for the football team then and how cheering has changed since. The cheering of the, the football teams were a lot different than it is now. Back then they would cheer for the football player and the whole team. Now they kind of make cheers just for themselves, so to speak, because they're more worried about how they appear than whether they're cheering their team on. The West Scranton High School football fans have remained loud and proud since Betty went there in the early 1950s until now. West Scranton High has produced three famous Division I college football players and four who made it all the way to the pros. Most recently, standout quarterback Matt McGloin, seen here at Scranton Memorial Stadium, walked on at Penn State and is now playing with the Oakland Raiders where he's seen action in seven games in two seasons. Betty recalled one player she was especially fond of in the 1951 season. One football player was fantastic. <laughs> and he was very helpful. Well, they had a, a, a good year that year, unbeaten. And I, I thought he was the reason for it because they were young. You think, oh, this guy is fantastic. But football isn't the only game played at Scranton Memorial Stadium. In addition to recreational sports like baseball seen here, the field also hosts games in soccer, lacrosse, track and field, and field hockey. Betty played other sports and games in West Scranton while growing up in the 40s and 50s. And when I was with kids in the neighborhood, everybody got together. All the neighbors, all the kids, and we'd go out at nighttime after our dinner. We'd play kick the game, Red Rover, tag. Swimming was also a popular activity for West Siders of all ages. Betty used to be devastated when her mother said she couldn't go. Oh no, she said you didn't do your work the way you were supposed to, you're not going swimming today. Well, that would break your heart. Mm -hmm. you're Betty grew up on 12th Street right next to the high school, and even the harsh winter couldn't stop her from playing outside. And at the end of the block, they blocked that wall. But the bottom of the hill it was steep. And they would block that wall, and we could slay right down that hill. No worrying about any traffic or anything. Whether being played present day at Scranton Memorial Stadium or in the 40s and 50s near West Scranton High School, whether being played competitively or for fun recreationally. It is clear that playing sports and games has had a great influence on the culture of Westside Scranton.